Darcy, as editor, I'd like to represent your views globally. The website is our chance to have our say. That's what's wrong with politics. Too many people telling you what you ought to have instead of giving you what you want. Now, my idea is to ask as many people as possible what they want on the website, then stand on their behalf. Has Cathy explained her anti-bullying policy? Yeah. Personally, I think it's a very good idea, and she's the best person to talk about it. After her record for fighting at her last school, I think it's very brave of her. Cathy's never been a bully. I never said she was. This is politics. There's no such thing as fair. Come on, we've got more work to do. But I'm going to make sure that the younger kids get their voice heard. If Year 11 gets in, they'll never listen to us. She's right. I think that idea for my favourite teddy bear is fantastic. Some might say a little childish, but... Maddie here was the first to sign up for it. I said it was really more for the Year 7s, but she desperately wanted her whole collection of teddy bears on the website. And the lads were doing sciences. We do a few lessons together. And what's keeping us here? Dad. Come on, you. I need you. We've got to set things up a little. In a minute. You OK? Yeah. I came over to give you some advice. Can't be in charge all the time. I'd hate to have to set my friend on you. She may be little, but she's wiry. And she's got teeth like razors. <laughs> you girls not attempting to unfairly affect the electorate, I hope? You what, sir? I expect that means pardon me. You've got to get up pretty early to get one over me. Oh, go on, Maddie. Lend us your jacket. I will be careful with it. No. Please. It looks perfect with this top. I've got to look my best for this interview. What do you reckon? Yeah, you look cool. <laughs> we are going to be celebrating tonight. I am going to walk this job and you are going to win that school competition thing. What, the election? Don't hold your breath. Get out, the most popular girl in the school. Wish me luck. Good luck, Mum. Good luck, you. See you later. Are you all right? I shouldn't be here, Maddie. It was horrible. I can't see the point in them just being gone. You have to collect all those in your star sign. Yeah, and? And then you have to find the right fortune cards to unlock their true potential. And each one tells you how the different areas of your life are going to work out. Like the area that you live in? No, emotional, like your love life and that. But there's only 12 star signs, and each person has a different DNA. Really? Is that so? Got that written down in your little black book? But it's just full of girls' names you fancy, isn't it? Leave them alone. I don't write names. I write phrases, slang and funny sayings. It helps me with my Asperger's. Give us a look, then. <laughs> I don't know if it escaped your attention, Maddie, but it's business as usual today. Classes are back on, so no more messing about. Now, the person who polled the most votes and thus becomes editor of the new website is... Annika Modi! Yeah, it is! <laughs> You should have a Baby of the Month page. That'd get people wanting to come to Grange Hill. I don't think so, Josh. You could have Hunk of the Week, too. I mean, I don't mind being photographed. Yeah, there's laws about putting offensive material on the internet. I can't believe she made you representative. This place sucks. I hate it, dude. Me too. Why don't we bank off after this lesson? It'd be easy with Robson not around. Wait, she minds us using her nail varnish. This is mine. Anyway. She was boring my stuff. She's a right pain sometimes. She sounds great. It's useless living with Dad. He doesn't understand anything about women. You're missing if you wasn't around, though. And you've got your sister for girly stuff. She's too old these days. We used to mess about all the time. Now she acts like she's my mum. We used to have these mad pillow fights. I bet you were rubbish. Was not. I always won. Only because she let you. Did you never? <laughs> <laughs> Maddie! What have I told you about pillow fights? You always use the biggest pillow. You got the job! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Shona. Just a little shandy, seeing as we're celebrating. Oh, 
Congratulations, Mrs. Jokes. Oh, they call me Susie. I'm not ready for my Zimmer frame yet. Cheers. Oh. Right, I'm going to change my shoes. There's a pizza in the freezer if Shona wants to stop for her tea, by the way. Where are you going? Some of the girls in the new office have asked me out for a drink to celebrate. Yeah, but... You two will be all right, won't you? You're going to have one more shandy, but don't get giddy, OK? OK. Oh, don't worry about that election thing. Sounds geeky anyway. Well out of it. Your mum's grey. Normally she'd have taken us out for both for a pizza, of course. She's just got this thing she has to do tonight. Do you go out a lot together then? Yeah, all the time. Right, that's me. I won't be late. I've got the mobile in case you want to call me. Have a good time. Bye. You too, Susie. I don't think I like lager after all. I feel sick. I told you not to drink so fast. Sit down. I'm gonna go home. You can't walk home like this. I'll call Mum. Hello, I'm Susie Jukes, Maddie's mum. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Who wants my last yeah. Yeah. Like it? So, is there anything you'd like to talk about? Anything that would explain your recent behaviour, Maddie? No, miss. You know that if I have to talk to you again about your attitude, it'll be with your mother present. Yeah, miss. And you can drop that insolent tone and look, young lady. You're not helping yourself here at all. I'm not stupid, you know, Maddie. I know that you had something to do with Shona being removed from this school. Shona's not coming back. Didn't you know? No. No, I didn't. And because Shona is going to go and live with her mum, it means she'll no longer be able to come to Grange Hill. But we haven't even had a chance to say goodbye. It's not my fault. I had to go and see Mrs. Holmes. I know. I found a seat as quickly as you can, please. We should not make a card for Shona, which everyone can write a message in. Great. Like we're still in the infants. What are you looking me like that for? I just thought you wanted to do it. She was your best friend. Yeah. Well, she's gone now. You do it if you want, but I've got better things to do with my time. Nan's got to choose his shoes for him. How old is he? 48. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want her, darling. Oh, hmm. These are my new workmates. After the day we've had, I thought I'd give them all a drink. This is Maddie, everyone. This is Lynn, Sue, Karen, and that's Guy. Ah, so your mum's good looks runs in the family, eh? Can't you do better than that? <laughs> <laughs> well, much the hate to break up the party, we really should be going. Really? Already? Yeah, the price doubles in now. Oh. Well, why don't you come with us? No, I can't. Now, come on, just for one drink. What do you reckon? It's not worth paying to get in if it's just for one drink. It's fine, I'll pay. You've got enough to amuse yourself with, haven't you, for an hour or so? I suppose I have got loads of home work. Nah, who'd be a teenager again, eh? <laughs> Me? Right, let's go. Let's party. I'll be <laughs> an hour and a half top styling, all right? I love that. I'll help you with the homework later. Okay. Right, let's go. Party on.
right, Leah. You take Scorpio or Gemini. Are uh, you selling be... those? Uh, could be. How much do you want for them? Uh, 60p each. You got the friendship money cards for a brown Taurus? Yeah, I'm gonna sit quite there. You okay here if I keep a lookout? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. Do you see? Thanks. <laughs> Alright, who's next? 60p each. Free for £1.50. That's the advertising sorted. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Martin, you know this website business? It wasn't a glitch, but how could it have happened? Someone else must have accessed the system. Yeah, but who and how? I mean, can you find out who did it? It's easy. You've just got to follow the footprints. Oi, read it and pass it on. You sure? Yeah, it's true. Who is he? The one that hangs around with those two boys. One's called Cracker. A little less chat, please, if you don't mind. <laughs> have you seen them, then? How could I have seen them? He's only got one. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? No talking, miss. But you didn't say anything about not laughing. Look, we're the only ones that know. I haven't told anybody. You're paranoid. You can tell by the way he moves. He's only half a man. Oh, I'm paranoid, am I? Well, I am now. Oh, imagine if you were his girlfriend. I would have thought this. No, just leave it, please. You can't the testicles. It's funny, do ya? Yeah, great one, mate. Make it ten times worse. Typical. Ah, oh, just the person I wanted to see. Miss Carvel. Oh, you remember my name. What are you doing? None of your business. You tell me I might be able to help. I've lost my notebook. Have you seen it? No. I... Sorry. Why don't we come round yours after school and give you room the once over? So it's not there, you can start a new one. Oi, you lot, listen to this. You might find it interesting. I think she's the teacher. Friday, another website meeting. It was good fun, and they seem to understand my Spurgis. My book, give it back. Monday, showed Leah how to create web pages. <laughs> Funny when she looks at me. <laughs> it's worse when she's near me. I can hardly breathe. <laughs> There's only so many enemies you can make, Maddie. Got two shorts threaten me. <laughs> Mum! How come you've met me? Hello, darling. I pulled a sickie. This is how you lost the last job. I will shut up. I just needed a day to myself. Anyway, what I need right now is a night in with my best mate. What'd you say, Madonna Jilks? Yeah, we can do whatever we like. Come on. Yeah, see you later, Madonna. See you tomorrow, Madonna. Hello, I'm Maddie's mum. You must be mates of hers, yeah? Hi, Miss Jilks. Hello. Call me Susie, please. Don't make me feel old. You gonna introduce us then, darling? Yeah, Josh and Kathy. Hiya, it's nice to meet you. And you. Well, moustache, see you, Susie, and... See you, Madonna. Come round sometime, yeah? Bye. It is revolting cheese, isn't it? That one stinks, but it tastes good. This one is my favourite. No, that is crawling off the cracker. Look at it. Mmm. <laughs> Pickled onion. No thanks. Mmm. Mm. 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 Hello? Who? Oh, Chris, yeah. Yeah, I remember you. Tomorrow. Tell you what, mate, can I get back to you on that, yeah? All right, speak later. Bye. Yes! <laughs> you playing hard to get? Are you pleased for me, Maddie, eh? Are you pleased for your popular mum? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Stop it! <laughs>
Hey, there's a brilliant film on at 10. Let's watch it. Mmm, mouth tastes disgusting. Want some? <sighs> this is the life, eh? <laughs> You're gonna love him. And he's gonna love you too. Oh, a baby girl. Mum! Mum! What? It's gone half eight. You've got um, to get to work. I'm up. I'm so dead. I'm up. Oh, oh. Oh. What should we do tonight then, darling? Do you fancy a special tea? Cool. Oh, and bring that Kathy girl, yeah? She seems really nice. Yeah. Hmm. You're late, Maddie. Alarm clock, miss. Do I get your hair brush? It's the best you've got. Loser. Shush, Maddie. Settle down, please. Do you want to have tea after school with me and my mum? Me? Just think about it. Hey, Mr. DJ, put the record on. <laughs> Are you coming then? Mum's cooking something special. Not after what you did to Martin. I'm sorry, I can't. Suit yourself. Here. You'll love this. It's all about me. What did Mrs. Guy Ritchie want? The liquid should now be a pale green. Matty, you put too much in. Reeks too. It's not that time it's died. It's not me. Madonna. Don't call me that. That's what your mum called you yesterday. Is that your real name? Shut up. Can't take it, can you? I can take anything you dish out. Where is that smell coming from? <laughs> it really does pong. <laughs> Seems to be coming from you, Miss Jilks. A kipper. <laughs> Maddie, you really must stop bringing your breakfast in with you. That's what you did to Martin. You wouldn't want to go around her house if that's what they eat. <laughs> Hello, darling. Mum here. I'm at Chris's. You should see the place, Mads. It is so cool. Anyway, listen, you and Kathy enjoy yourselves. You'll have a better time without me there, I'm sure. Don't go mad, will ya? I won't be late. I love you. Bye! Morning, sweetie. What's going on? Nothing. Mum. Chris is upstairs. You really spent the night. And his friends like me, you're gonna love him. You hardly know him. Look what happened last time. You don't have to spoil it, do you? What do you want to talk about that for? Cos it happened. Fine. You can bring me down if you want to. Here, I've made you some toast, but don't you worry about doing anything for me in return. It's time to wake up. You're late for school, babe, but I'll give you a note if you want. You made me tea? Yeah. I'm really sorry I got cross yesterday. You know you're the biggest thing in my life, don't you? Better than any bloke. Even if he is cute. I'd better get going. Let's do something fun tonight, yeah? You know what? I reckon we should do something mad at the weekend, just us. Here. I made you this. <laughs> I think it's Anika. She's got the password. So have I. Yeah, but she was really angry with Mrs. Holmes. I can't believe Mrs. Holmes. I used to really like her. So what do we do? Duh. Find out who wrote it. Yeah, great plan, Maddie. Not anyone's actually going to admit it. Get over yourselves, you boring computer freaks. That's all you ever talk about. I've got so much to do this weekend with my bar mitzvah. What's that, Rabbi Josh? Not talking about that again, are we? Big surprise. 
I am actually. It's going to be fantastic. Why? What brilliant things are you doing? Well, I'd come to your bar mitzvah if it was in a real bar. <laughs> I'm going out with my mum, actually. She's organised a whole weekend and it's all a surprise. Imagine having to spend the weekend with her. Sir. You're not going anywhere in that kind of state, young lady. Straighten your collar. And tuck your shirt in. What are you thinking of? Coming to school like this? It's not my fault, sir. My mum didn't wash Don't my have stuff. time for excuses, Maddie. Give me a record book. Well, what's a record book? The record books aren't just for keeping track of bad behaviour. They'll also show merits for good pieces of work. It's a week on Saturday. Anyone that's important is going to be there. I've never met a rabbi before. They're just normal guys like us. Is it May Lonely Party? It's not that. It's just I haven't got many invites to give out and I've got to get the right mix of people. I see. But I know you don't get out much, so... I have to check my diary. Come on, it wouldn't be the same without you. The regulations are included. I'd advise you to read them as soon as possible so we all know what to expect from this new system. You're late, Maddie. I should give you a warning for that, but since it's the first day. Yeah. Mr. Devil already has. And a black mark for your uniform. Well done, Maddie. You're two black marks away from a detention. And I had nowhere else to go. And so a butterfly is. You must have found out by now. I think I've made a mistake. I just need to check something. You don't make mistakes. Uh, shush, please, Cathy. Now that was complete metamorphosis. Any questions? Yeah, that was so gross. Yes, thank you, Maddie. Why don't humans metamorphose, sir? Oh, good question, Martin. Well, all animals develop in different ways, but insects need more protection while they grow into their adult forms, which is why they change inside a pupa or chrysalis. Because all animals, humans included, have to grow and change. OK. It's a bit like my bar mitzvah, sir. I'm changing from a boy into a man. Yeah, well, you're not changing very quickly. <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> Of him. He hasn't even started shaving yet. Some man he's going to be. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Why aren't you at work? Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I take time off to take you somewhere nice, and that's all the thanks I get. Well, where are we going? It's a surprise. Oh, this won't make up for last night. <laughs> it might. You don't know where it is yet. Mum, you were out all night. I was really worried. Listen, sweetheart, I'm really sorry. I just lost track of the time. Anyway, you've got nothing to worry about, right? Us Jilks girls can look after ourselves. Hey, eh? Come on. It's just some cat from the school kids. You said it was a surprise. Well, it is, sort of. I'd like you to meet Chris. You didn't tell me you were coming. Hello, darling. I thought it was time you two met each other. Chris, Maddie, Maddie, Chris. Ain't you going to get us a drink, then? Uh, yeah, yeah. Great. Orange juice for Maddie. Same for me, but with a double vodka in it, please. We don't serve alcohol during the day. It's OK. I know the boss. Chris really likes you, I can tell. Oh, come on, babe. I just want the two of you to get on. I love you, Mads. It's not so bad here. Do you mean that? I'm really pleased because I've been dreading telling you. Telling me what? I got the sack. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. They won't stretch me and you know what I'm like when I'm bored. Yeah, but what are we going to do for money? Don't worry. Chris said he'd sort me out with something. I'm going to be working here, in a nightclub. But you're never at home as it is. I know, babe, but I'm going to be earning more than I do at this poxy office job, so I'll be able to treat you. Hey, we should be celebrating. Same again, Treacle. Back in a minute. Friends of Ozzy. Ooh, Vicky. Nah, shakes his guts. How come? I don't know, some still with Danny. Her boyfriend. Even Ozzy had a major falling out last year. Can you believe 
believe it. It's busy again. I've been trying to get hold of him all morning. You're not really going to work for Chris. Why not? I'm trying to set up a meeting with him to talk about it. Meeting? <sighs> Listen, in case I'm not in when you get home, treat yourself to a pizza, yeah? Don't start, Maddie. It's what I want to do. Hello, Chris. It's me, Susie. Why are you not answering? Um, please give me a call back. I need to know what's going on about this job. All right, bye. Hand it over. I told you, they don't have to look it. It's more than the stupid. Are they? Are they stupid? They look perfectly sane to me, yet they still hate me. It's okay. I've had a word with Devil about that email. He's gonna do something about it. What did you do that for? The last thing I want is everyone talking about me. I don't want a party. Of course you do. You are going to have the best, mate. That one's for Kathy. This one's for Josh. I didn't know everyone else's name, so just write them on and hand them out, yeah? Tell them it'd be cool. Chris helped you with these, did he? Don't start misery. Come on, Mads, this is going to be wicked. All your mates are going to know that you give the best parties, eh? Come on. After you, Miss Jilks. I'm sure you'll be needing a new record book after all those black marks. Sorry to interrupt, Mrs. Holmes. Uh, I need to speak to this class. I don't mind me. It's been brought to my attention that Josh Irving has received an anti-Semitic email. Just like to reassure you, Josh, that we will not tolerate this sort of harassment. Sir, what does anti-Semitic mean? Martin. A person who is anti-Semitic is hostile to Jewish people and their culture, sir. Please, carry on, Mrs. Holmes. Right, now add the liquid carefully, please. Less of the gobbledygook, please, Josh. You stink. Shut up, idiot. Leave him alone. Give it back to him. Why? What is it? Some sort of secret code only foreigners can understand. You're in England now. Speak English. Maddie, come here now. Well, how come these aliens get special treatment? That's enough, Maddie. Outside. What seems to have been the problem this time? Nothing, sir. Oh, nothing. So that's why the rest of your class are in there and you're stood out here. Come on, Ian, talk some sense. Yeah, well, if I do, I'll be the only one round there talking sense. Oh, well, seeing as you like talking so much, how about sharing it with me on Saturday? Saturday detention? You can't do that. You said anything about There's detention? For those of us with a big football match coming up, Homework club is essential. Saturday morning, 8.30, sharp. I can't believe this. All of you! Don't say a word about this, right? Yeah. 
It's your fault I've got to go to homework club. So, guess what? You're coming with me. I can't. It's Josh's bar mitzvah. Don't you get it? Josh doesn't want you there. He doesn't even like you. Be there, or you're dead. Thank you for your prompt attendance. I'm hoping this experience is going to prove to be very beneficial. Yeah, well, actually, I'm missing church, sir. On a Saturday? Church of West Ham, sir. It's infringement of my right to worship. Keep it up, Mr Hudson. Now, I want you all to write an essay about why it is you think you're here and where you see your future. Here's Shannon. Make him checking those cards. I would like a little bit more than I'm a stupid little show-off with an attitude problem who'll be flipping burgers at the age of 45. There'll be no sleeping, no talking, no moving. This door stays open, and I won't be very far away. Enjoy, children. You could have got me done, you know. You might want to spend the rest of your Saturdays in this stump, but I don't. Like you've got a life. The only one you've got is the one you fantasise about. Well, how do I know? She sticks alcohol. We should get devil. Oh, yeah, nice one. You go ballistic. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Well, get the door then. Get I'm taking all of the weight. You can't go in there. Well, you can't carry the rope, Martin. Give a hand. In there? No, I thought we'd take her for a curry. Yes, in there. I can't. It's not allowed. Right, then you take her. I'm going back to my desk. Okay, I'll do it. What if Devril checks on us? Yeah, well, you didn't have to come, did you? It's Devril. He's gonna find us. We're never gonna get back now. Yes, we will. How can we? Right, when he walks past, you not leg it. I'll keep it occupied. It's my fault. I keep on letting her down. You shouldn't let your friends down. It's just... If she's got it, I want it too. All the boys wanted her last year and it made me mad. Guess I wanted to be like her so much I've made up stories. So you lie? So what? Yeah, but I hate lying, though. It's like I'm in a group. And then suddenly I realise that no one's paying any attention to me. And it just comes out. <laughs> and it's something so stupid. The next time I have to make up something even bigger. Why don't you just stop? I can't. I just get scared if that people don't know I'm there. I'll disappear. I don't understand lying. It's easy. I'm happy at home, and I love my mum's new boyfriend. See? I'm really glad my mum's not boring, ordinary, responsible, tell you what to do sort of mum. I love coming to school because I'm so popular. I love getting drunk. It makes me feel so good. And Josh really hates you, Martin. No wonder everybody hates me. I'm sure I don't all hate you. No, I think most people do. Martin! I thought you should have lied then, mate. I'm an elephant. I'm an elephant. I can do it. I get it. I lied. So what's your dark secret then? Well, I'm not interested enough to have a secret. 
Devil seems pretty interested in you. Yeah, but I can't quite work out why. He's got it in for me for some reason. You were very rude to him today. Yeah, well, I might as well be. Seems like I get in trouble whatever I do. I was nearly there. I was two terms away, and then I would have been away from here, away from my dad. And Deathrow comes along and ruins everything. You should tell someone. Mrs. Holmes. Or your dad, maybe. Yeah, he'd love that one. Make his day. You can hear him now. You always were a waste of space, weren't you? At least you've got a dad. Yeah, but I wish I hadn't. Why do you think I've been trying to get into the army so bad? I wanted to show him, you know, prove to him that he can be proud of me. I don't believe it. The Golden Dragon. I've been looking for this forever. This gives me whatever I want. Come in. Better make a start on these essays. I don't lose my job flipping burgers now, do I? Oh, and uh, anything that's been said here today stays with us. All right? You know when you said that Josh hated me? You were lying, right? Yeah. Thanks, Maddie. Don't get all soppy on me, Martin. You breathe a word of what I've said today and I'll never forgive you. Right, I reckon you've had long enough. Off you go. Looks like this time of reflection's given you something to think about. Yeah, that's very tidy. I didn't expect illustrations, but well done. It's very good. Happy birthday. Here you go, darling. Thanks, Mum. Don't worry. It's not naff. It's now. It's so sophisticated, don't you think, darling? And look at this. food for tonight. We can't afford all this. Hey, now I'm going to work for Chris. There's a lot we can afford. Here's your card. You'll have loads more then to open when all your mates come around tonight, won't you? Did I give you enough invites? Tina, do you want to come to a party tonight? Around mine. What time? It starts about five. It's my birthday. Five? That's what you'll have a load of your rates chucking jello. No way. And we're going on late. Can I bring some mates in? Yeah, of course. Got any drink? Mum's got a cupboard for me. Cool. We'll maybe see you later then. Mum. It's all right, darling. They look wicked. So no one's here yet, then. Oh, look, we've got a message. Susie, Chris here. Listen, it's not going to work out with this job. What's he I'll talking about? What's he talking about? Right, I better get this sorted. Mum, darling, all this stuff is only getting paid for when I get my first wage packet. Oh, don't worry, look. I'll nip down the club, I won't be long. Anyway, you don't want your mum here when all your mates start arriving, do you? Hey. Let's get his party going then. Ta da! Nice one. I told you we wouldn't have jelly. Good tune. It's your favourite, isn't it? Yeah, I love this one, Maddie. What's this then? It's for babies. You're a baby, Maddie. It's not nap, it's now. A very sophisticated item. 
<laughs> Oi, you, you're lagging. Have a little game we can play. Yeah, that's it, Maddie. Nice. Ugh. Now what do we do? Say cheese. <laughs> Some sausages, Maddie. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> Bye. See you, Maddie. Let's go. The party's over by the sound of it. Look, it's open. What's happened? We should have got here sooner. We should have got here sooner. It's all right, I've sorted it. I've got the job. What on earth is going on? Hi, Maddie. It's Martin. Uh, me, Cathy and Josh were just wondering if you were OK since you weren't at school today. Um, OK. Bye, then. Oh, so you've finally woken up. You've been asleep all day. <laughs> I feel terrible. Oh, you feel terrible. How do you think I feel? This place is completely trashed. Look at it. You and your mates certainly did a good job. Six votes, Kate. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. What's this? What does it look like? It looks like a bottle of water and it smells like vodka. What's the problem? I like a drink. You like a drink? You drink. Everyone drinks. Why can't I? You're 13, Maddie, and you're carrying around little plastic bottles full of neat spirits. You're acting like some old alky or something. I'm not. How long's this been going on? A few months. A few months? Right, that's it. You're not going to school tomorrow. I'm going to take you to the doctor. We need to sort this out. Jaundice, wetting the bed, eventual liver failure, just three of the more delightful pleasures you're letting yourself in for with alcohol abuse. Especially at your age, when your organs haven't formed properly yet. So you're killing yourself. What are you doing it for? I like it. Well, is there any counselling she could go to, or any groups or anything? Not enough. Unfortunately, this country seems to think it's better to wait until our alcoholics before stepping in. So I've got to stand and watch while she drinks herself into the gutter? Teenagers drink. One thing I certainly wouldn't recommend is leaving her unattended with a large quantity of alcohol in the house. So it's my fault, you reckon? I didn't say that. No, it's all right. I've heard enough. Come on, Maddie. This is pointless. Thank you, Doctor. How does he think you bring up a kid on your own? Why is it my fault that you decide to get off your head the minute my back's turned? I thought you were grown up enough, you know? Yeah, well, maybe I'm not. Don't get spiky with me. I'm the one who had a trashed house and a complete mess to clear up, including you. Yeah, that's right. I'm a mess, aren't I? I'm such a mess that I drink all the time. And I can't make friends. What do you mean? What about Martin and Kathy and Josh? What about Louise and whoever else was here? Louise and Tina aren't my friends. So what are they doing around here, marking up my wallpaper? Because I let them. Because I wanted to have a party that somebody came to. Because I wanted them to think I was all right. I'm not making me feel stupid. It messed me up. Still my shoes. We never spend any time together anymore. What do you call this? This is because you have to. You've got your boyfriend and your mates. And I'm left on my own half the time. Come on, Maddie, you can make loads of friends if you try. The more you try and lead your own life, the happier you're gonna be. That's what you want, isn't it? I'd rather you were at home. No one I know comes back to an empty house, has to make their own tea and goes to bed without talking to anyone. So you want me to be boring, stay-at-home mum? 
It wouldn't be boring, it'd be cool. I love being with you. <laughs> oh. Look, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to work tonight. I'm going to phone Chris and tell him I'm spending time with my mads. How's that? Don't change your plans, Mum. It wouldn't make any difference anyway. Can you Can I have your phone number? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, he's so gorgeous. Can you sign this, please? <laughs> Look, loads of girls want to go out with you now. <laughs> well. And so, the colonial partitioning that began in the 1880s culminated in the Congress of Berlin, 84-85, and then continued until we see how thoroughly the continent had been carved up by 1913. Can anyone tell me which areas were under Spanish rule in 1913? Italian. German. British. It's on the board. Egypt, sir. Good, Martin. Anyone else? I know it's all a bit dull, but you've got to learn it. Right. Stand up, all of you. Come on, on your feet. And let's push back all of the tables. All of them? Yes, Josh, all of them. We're going to make another map out of people. So, there were seven main countries that colonised Africa, and each of you can play part of a country. Now, Josh, you and Cathy and Martin can all be Italy. Italy had three colonies, Libya, Eritrea, and Italian Somaliland. So, see where they are on the map, and then you can represent them on our map. Do you enjoy your makeover, Maddie? I've got the photos developed. And there's plenty more where that come from. <laughs> she still stinks of puke. <laughs> I can smell her from here. And then I'd have another, and another, until I made myself ill, or... Or what? Made it go away. Stop feeling like that. Like this. So your mum knows all about it? Yeah. She's been okay, I suppose. She's like that. She's more like my best friend than her mum. What does she think you should do? Bounce back. She's good at that. She's got loads of mates. She's funny. She's really gorgeous. All the things I'm not. Don't do yourself down, Maddie. No friends in school? I mean, what about uh, Kathy, Martin? I don't think so. My mum works a lot, so I don't get to see her as much as I'd like to. So when you get home at night, you have a drink? Yeah. You know, it's only a mask. Hides the pain, but doesn't make it go away. How come you understand? You should never feel alone, Maddie. You're not the only one who's been there. But uh, that's just between us. Look at her. She's well out of it. She's coming. They're mine. We can see that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hand them on your what? I'll take those, thank you. Surely I don't have to remind you that the exams are about to begin. Sorry I'm late, Year 8. Sir, is it true you love Miss Carver? <laughs> yes, it is. And we're very happy, Josh. I didn't know they'd taken photos. It's not as bad as it looks, you know. Her drinking, well, it's under control. We've talked it all through, and thanks, but I don't think we need the school getting involved. Oh, it's not the school, it's just me. I'm just not 
sure that she's coping as well as you think. Do you think she started drinking again? No. No, I'm sure she hasn't. Not yet. It's hard, you know. I've got to work, keep it all together. I've got stupid hours. I'm not always here for her. And sometimes I just want to see my friends. It's not a crime, is it? She'd think I was really boring if I was always at home bossing her around. <laughs> I don't think she'd ever think you were boring. I've never known a child light up the way Maddie does when she talks about you. <laughs> does she? <laughs> well, we are really good mates. You're her hero. Her friend, her confidant, her best big sister, but that's not what she needs. She needs her mum. This month's pin up for Alcoholics Anonymous. What are you done with our photos then? Sent them to a modelling agency. Oh, I wouldn't like to be in your shoes if Deverell sees them. Do you know what you're talking about? <laughs> you are in her shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why do you let them upset you? I can't help it. You're really horrible to me. Be horrible to them. <laughs> <laughs> She wearing? I found them in lost property. You don't even match. She doesn't look too happy. And I'm over. Make me. If them shoes aren't off your feet and on mine by the time I count three, you'll be suffering from a nasty case of shoe in mouth disease. One. But they're not your shoes. Butt out of it, geek boy. Maddie! That's her mum. Hey, Susie. Yeah? This is one of the girls that wrecked your house. Bye. Bye. Mum, nice one. <laughs> Why aren't you at work? I decided. I don't like Chris and I don't like serving drinks to underage kids, so I quit. Not again. <laughs> Listen, it's different this time. I've had some career advice this afternoon. Do you know, if I get a bit of training, there are loads of jobs I can do, maybe part-time and be around a bit more. Are you sure you're up to all that? Maddie, I'm the mum around here. Will you let me worry about that? <laughs> 